All right, my turn. Dear Mythbusters, my granny and me loved the episode with the sneezes. But can you please tell us the safest way to sneeze without spreading germs? Sincerely, Thomas. I think we can totally do that. Yeah, we can do that. The Mythbusters have sneezed for science before, which made for some rather unpleasant viewing. Oh, there's a little silvery booger there, too, right on this big old stash. <laughs> so remember, you've been warned. Now we're going to be testing some techniques for stopping sneezes from spreading their wares, their germs, their bacteria. And that's what this rig is set up to test. Jamie and I will wear white suits, like I'm wearing now, and stand here at the apex, and we will sneeze. Of course, our mouths will be filled with colored liquid like before. We're going to try and prevent the spread of that sneeze with three different methods. One, open hand. Hatching! Two, into the elbow. Hatching! And three, something no gentleman should be without, a handkerchief. Hatching! We're going to be looking at our suits and on the floor to see which one works the best. Sneezing into the open hand. I'm predicting this is going to be kind of a horror show. A swig and a sniff later. That's one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one coming. For each style, <laughs> they're going to unleash a sample of three sneezes. <laughs> oh, it looks horrible, doesn't it? I look like a vampire. Ah. Adam's face is a picture, but it's the canvas that tells the real story. I see spots up to eight feet away, dude. Yeah, it did spread quite a lot, but there's a lot of markings here. So I'd say single hand, not so good. Yeah, not so good. Now, I'm pretty clear that sneezing into your hand is meant as a courtesy to those around you to keep from spreading your germs onto them. And as far as I can see, it's quite effective at doing exactly the opposite. I noticed there's almost no red dye on me at all and crap loads all around me. If I was on a subway, I'm typhoid Mary. Now, we wait for the sneeze to take effect on Jamie's Hoosia nose. Slowly, it irritates the cilia inside. And with the cilia salivating... <coughs> three sneezes later, and the results are very impressive. Yeah, I see only two droplets and one on your shoe, and let's look at your elbow here. That's totally localized to you, man. And you know what? It's all on my arm and not on my hand, so I'm not as likely to spread it around. Yeah, doubly effective. How did we do? I see a tiny, 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 tiny dot of blue there. I see some on the hanky. And look, it's penetrated all the way to both sides. It's penetrated both sides, and perhaps most damningly, whoop, it's on my hands, ready to spread to the next person whose hand I shake. Let me make one more thing clear about this hanky I'm holding here. Imagine, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you, you sneeze at it all day long, and you keep on putting it in your pocket, and pulling it back out, giving people change from your pocket, handing them your pen, handing them your phone, talking on your phone, spreading germs yeah it's not just a rorschach test it's a petri dish although the droplets were contained the hand exposure means the hanky has hit the skids so this flu season which method are you going to use the hand the elbow or the handkerchief it's got to be the elbow i totally agree it's the elbow so now you know <laughs>